Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Chris writing in. Um, the heading of this email is D760 question mark. He says, hi Matt, I hope you are well. I love your videos and thanks for all your content. I recently switched from an Nikon DX body to my Micro Four Thirds uh, for general photography with my Lumix G9. And I love my G9 so far. I primarily shoot landscape, street, some wildlife, uh, mainly my dog at home in low light, and astrophotography. I still use my DX body for both wide-angle Milky Way shots and deep sky objects with a telescope. I would like to add a full-frame Nikon body at some point to my kit. I've been looking at the D750 versus the D810, and I know both would be great options to use. I know Nikon also has the D810A, but I would want it for general use as well. Do you think it'd be wise to wait for a possible D760 or whatever Nikon comes up with later this year to compete at the A7 III price point, given that both are nearly four years old? Just wanted to pick your brain about where you think Nikon will be going with their entry professional prosumer cameras. Thanks in advance, Chris. Well, uh, thanks very much for your email and a good question. 760, I think it's coming. I think we will see it. There is a possibility it could be folded into a new mirrorless camera. In other words, what you saw in a 750 would now be available in a new mirrorless camera. So all the updates they would put into a 760, not available as a DSLR. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Um, the question here is, um, how long do you want to wait? Um, my thoughts here is to go for an 810, love that camera, or even save some money and get an 800E, great camera. I could go for that as well. Um, you get all that goodness, that 36 megapixel sensor, great performing camera. You can pick them up for very, very good price, great value right now. And then if something does come out, go ahead and you won't take much of a bath. It won't, you won't lose much selling at that point for what the 800E or the 810 that you pick up, and then you could get the 760. But unless you're really interested in video, I'm not sure that the 760 is going to have anything that you're really, really going to want as far as if you were looking at it down the road in an 810. I think if I wasn't interested in video, I, I'm not sure what the 760 might bring that would sway me over an 810 at a really good price. So, And again, like I said, if you pick up an 810 or an 800E right now, you could liquidate it later for probably very little loss when you let it go, as long as you shop for a good deal and you get either a refurb or a good used version. Um, and then get the 760 if that's what you want when it comes. That's what I would do. Let me throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Should he wait for the 760? Should he go ahead and buy a 750 or an 810? I've, I I just skipped over the 750 there. I guess I should point that out because I would totally get the 810 over the 750. I just like it better. Nothing wrong with the 750. I just think the 810 is way better value, especially at the money right now. And I love that 36 mil sensor in there, the 36 megapixel sensor. Um, that's what I would do. Um, but what would you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. What would you do and why? Let's help out Chris. Let's help him make his decision here on what he should do. Should he wait? Should he buy something? What should he buy? Um, let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear your feedback. And uh, thanks for your question, Chris. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.